Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 15th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at our sun, earthquakes, disaster alerts from around the world, and as well, check in on each other, see how y'all doing. God bless you all for coming. Looking here, trying to see the activity that erupted on the back side of the sun. You can't really see it here under 304 angstroms. You can kind of see it here where the heliosphere is kind of bubbled out there on the northwestern side of the sun. There was definitely some activity on the back side of the sun today. As I quickly posted in a video earlier today, coronal hole, earth facing, so stay aware and prepared. Our solar wind is currently steady at 428 kilometers per second. Looking here at the Lasco 2 images, missing about seven to eight hours of data. We're gonna have to see if that returns. That would be pretty cool because it looks like a pretty sizable eruption as the full corona was affected around the sun. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours as we've been pretty busy with a lot of fives rocking around the world. With most recently here, a 5.1 in Russia, Kamchatka, and that is right beside the Klutchevskoy volcano, which got an eruption today, pretty sizable one. As well here, 5.7 in Colombia. That was pretty large earthquake for Colombia, and that was this morning. As well, 5.1 Costa Rica and 5.1 in Mexico. Pretty deep earthquake, South America as well. 5.3 Argentina, that was early, early this morning. And then those large fives came right afterwards. 590 kilometer depth and all around it. 4.9 here, Pacific Ridge. And then another 4.2 in Utah early this morning. 2.7 here in Tennessee. Swarm has diminished in Idaho. Looking here over Japan, 5.0 in Nago, Japan. Two of them just recently. As well, the Philippines with a 5.0. And then a rare 4.9 earthquake here. A Red Hill, Australia is about 50 kilometers off the coastline. 4.8 New Zealand and as well 4.9 in Fiji, Tonga region. Around Indonesia, 4.3, 4.8. That was reported yesterday. This is what we're looking at the last 24 hours here. And then these earthquakes in Syria as well. Those happened late last night, overnight. 4.7, 4.2. That's a very busy 24 hour map. Thanks everybody for watching. Please have a plan. Be ready in these quiet zones, North America and up into Alaska. Cascadia fault line. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. And now a lot of elevated rings. That's our first over 500 kilometer depth earthquake in South America in the past seven days. So expecting some more movement over the next 24 hours for sure. Earthquake warning and watch for San Andreas and up into the Cascades. Friends and family, just have a plan. That's all I can say. A couple weeks worth of food, power, survival bag. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here, looking at the most recent disasters and volcanic updates. Reporting here all the fives right away, and as well that 5.7 Colombia, 5.0 Philippines, and Kluchevskoy in Russia erupting, Asosan, as well Dokono in Indonesia. Senge in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, 
Popo in Mexico, Sabancaya in Peru, Suisse de Jima in Japan, and that's all in the last 12 hours. So about eight volcanoes actively erupting in the last 12 hours. Not much to talk about for extreme weather. Pretty interesting earthquake off of the coast of Ask, uh, Australia. A lot of moisture moving into Southeast Asia. Heavy rains, West Africa. As earlier on the live stream, you're watching some pretty sizable uh, supercells forming all along the coastline there. And there's also a lower level low Atlantic storm developing. Overlooking Brazil. Heavier torrential amounts towards the central region and moving north into Panama. Flooding conditions across southeastern United States. Winter storm northwestern United States. Things are changing drastically. Cold temperatures moving quickly eastward and southward. Let's get to five day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike. Overlooking home base, Calgary, Alberta here. Cold temperatures hanging around and then moving eastward. You're welcome, Ontario. But definitely looking at some warmer temperatures later in the forecast and across East Canada and Northeastern United States. Watch for rain and mixed precipitation event. Kind of a roller coaster event of temperatures over the next five days throughout Ontario and some snow moving into the Atlantic provinces. And quite a snow event here in Colorado. Over the next 24 hours, that is developing and moving eastward. Moving into South America, five day forecast showing heavier rains north into Colombia as a low develops on the coastline with Venezuela. Watch for heavier rains moving west into Paraguay and up into Panama. They've seen some serious rains recently. I'm sure we're going to be getting some flood alerts and as well landslide alerts here real soon. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody there. As well, looking here, Argentina, watching for rain to move in later in the week. Pretty cool temperatures across South, Af South Africa. As watching some moisture move in northward. Daily evaporation rains through central Congo region. Heavier amounts south of Lake Victoria. Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge moving in. United Kingdom, some pr cool temperatures hanging around you. Spain and into the Mediterranean, watch for a low developing in the next coming days. Later in the forecast, it's gonna be pretty sizable low. Across Finland, the snow will stop over the next few days as a high pressure ridge moves in and starts to warm things off, moving eastward into Europe and Western Russia. And then observing here, some very warm temperatures in India, Southeast Asia, but there is quite a moisture pattern developing over the next few days. And we've talked about what's in China largest weather modification station in the world. And here we have the largest low in the world in the Pacific. Five day forecast shows this beast heading straight into the BC coastline, northern coastline and into Alaska. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. And again, I want to thank everybody so much for joining this channel. We are so close to 10,000 family members from around the world in 160 countries worldwide. 
And as well, I would like to introduce channel memberships that are coming real soon with a lot of perks and fun things to get involved with. Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Much love to you all. God bless. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.